How y'all doing, baby? It's Friday. It's Friday, and we're trying to get through this as best we can. Beer's already open. This is take two. Only two, though, so let's try to get through it. Anyway, get the beer off the ice. I hope yours is nice and cold. Mm. The rest of that story, just stuff that bud in the bowl. Try to get a little re relaxation this weekend. You know, take the edge off the week we just went through and all that kind of shit. That's what weekends are designed for, baby. Anyway, I hope the sun is shining on you no matter where you are. But it is Friday, so relax the best you can. Enjoy your weekend. What's going on, John? Well, you know, uh, I read a little story earlier today. Jim Jordan and his... Uh, Judiciary Committee, that's right, Jim Jordan, jacking off Jim Jordan is the head of the Judiciary Committee, and he is determined, determined to get to the bottom of the weaponization of the FBI. You know how the FBI went over Donald Trump. Boy, they went after him big time, and they were just really persecuting him and all that bullshit that, Jay, that they're trying to sell over there. But Jim, boy, he was serious about this shit. He had witnesses, baby, witnesses. He called three of them, three FBI agents up there on the stand to testify in front of the Judiciary Committee about the weaponization of the FBI and how they're really all against Trump. Uh -huh. Well, I didn't write down their names. There's three officers, uh, ex-officers, I should say. Uh, one of them got disciplined for being at January 6th at the insurrection. Oh, bad move, buddy, for an FBI agent. Don't tell me you was undercover. That's bullshit. No, and the rest of them are the same way. But the, but the story here is that these three ex-agents were paid paid informants. They're, they're, not, they're not whistleblowers. They, they're, they're paid to come up there. Cash Patel, who you might remember, who worked in the Trump administration, big Trump loyalist. You know, him and Mark Meadows got that, what is it, Citizens for Protecting America or some kind of pact down there in Florida that they come up with to sell bullshit. Yeah, these guys get up there and testify about all the devil, the devious deeds of, of the FBI. Well, they got in hold of their social media postings. They're posting all sorts of bullshit on their social media about how it was just a, it was, it was a, uh, 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 a ploy by the Democratic Party to convince a bunch of good God-fearing Republicans to show up on January 6th to, to protest, and, and the Democrats got in there and broke windows, and yeah, I guess that's the narrative they're going to try to sell out of Fox News or some bullshit, I guess. I'm only guessing. But it tells you the extent of their bullshit. Jim Jordan's up there doing exactly what he always does. Jack it off and, and just screaming and yelling and making noise. That's what Jim Judd does. And uh, he does a fine job of it. Anyway, that's not all that's going on. CPAC going on, baby. CPAC, the, the Conservative Political Action Committee re-meets all the time there, to, you know, to select the next president and all that shit. Hmm. Membership seems to be down this year. Not all the Republican uh, nominees are, are going down there to make their speeches. <laughs> Matter of fact, hardly any of them are showing up to speak. Oh, yeah, Nikki Haley did. Wants them all to vote for a new generation of Republicans. Really? Yeah, well, I hope they're a better lot than this. They had Don Jr. there speaking. Really? Don Jr. speaking at CPAC. You know what he was talking about? He was talking about John Fetterman, the, the senator out of, uh, out of Pennsylvania that had a stroke. Called him a vegetable. That Pennsylvania elected a vegetable and that he would be better off sacking groceries at a grocery store. Really? Hey, Don Jr., I think your daddy is more well-positioned to be an ass licker at a local subway station in New York City outside the men's room where he could lick everybody's butt clean, you know, like a like a human uh, huggy wipe or something. You know, that's what your daddy should be. Hey, speaking of your daddy, hey, he came up with a new idea. He wrote this thing, put it out, I don't know, on True Social or wherever he puts his shit out there about a new futuristic America. That's right, baby. We're going to have freedom cities Freedom cities, doesn't that sound good? It sounds good. All the conservatives are going to love freedom cities. They're not only, they're going to have flying cars, baby. They're going to be hubs of engineering and, and industry, and it's going to just be, are you shitting me? Is he doing too much Adderall while he's watching Jetsons? I think so, baby. I'm still waiting on my flying car. I don't think so. But they love that word freedom, baby. The whole time trying to take it away from you as much as they can. What's that Janis Joplin once said? Freedom is another word for nothing left to lose. Ah, well, one of the basic tenets of our freedom is to be able to participate in our government and vote. Ah, the Republicans ain't up on that nowadays. They are more selective in who gets to vote. Anyway, 
I've got much to think about, but try to take the weekend off and relax. Enjoy yourself and soak up as much as you can. Anyway, we'll be back Sunday for another Blue Dot family meeting. So until then, y'all take care of yourself and have a good weekend. Bye.